Hey everybody, Killing HB here, and we are going to do another Overwatch case. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, baby boy. Alright, let's catch a cheater. Let's get him the fuck out of here. Give him the double birds. Give him the motherfucking double birds. Because we're going to ban them. If they're cheating. If they're not, we are very just and even-handed sheriffs in the CSGO community, and our judgment will be fair but swift. Alright, let's see what we got. What do we got? Cobble! I like it. I like it, Cobble. Awesome. Alright, so as of right now, this guy looks like a bot. The way he moves. Looks very bot-like. Oh! Ah! <laughs> this is... <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Laying down smoke. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. So, aimbot. 100%. Uno hundredo percent. He is keeping it a hundred... A hundred percent hacks. Uh, I, I don't I'm, he's just running circles around the map. <laughs> he's just running circles around the map, trying to find them. <laughs> so, I mean, I've got my verdict. My verdict has been made. My decision has been arrived at. But we got eight fucking rounds of this, so. Let's we'll just watch more trigger bot, aimbot kills, wall kills. It's everything. It's it's walling. He aims at him right through it. Yeah. See. So he just finds him through the walls and then um, just toggles, holds the trigger for the trigger bot to to finish him off. Right. Jesus, playing against this has got to be just the most frustrating thing on earth. You know. Is he suspect? Has seven kills in two rounds. Before this, I believe he had zero. That is correct. So, whew. the cheats, the cheats, the cheats through the wagon, through the wagon. How dare you? Yeah, he just literally runs laps around the entire map, just waiting to see people. Because the second they show up on his screen, they get killed. And here's the thing about this. I don't understand what's fun about this type of cheating. So I uh, I kind of can't understand why people who really aren't good at the game, they install hacks so that they can make good plays and sort of make it not obvious so the people on your team are like, oh man, great play, you're so good at this game. Uh, what a good job. I'm so, like, I'm so impressed. And the other team's going, oh man, why are you so good? I'm so mad at you for being so good, and it feels really good, even though it means nothing because you're actually cheating, but I kind of get that. You want the glory, right? But this is a whole different type of thing. This is just, I'm going to ruin your day, right? There's no fun in this. He's just holding down holding down a button and pressing W as he goes, goes to a map, right? And that's it. This guy is from the I just want to watch the world burn camp, right? Because it's not fun. He just wants to sow chaos within Counter-Strike. And I think that's the best way to describe what this is. <laughs> it's so upsetting. I don't know why this team keeps going to A, though. They just keep standing right in front of there. As if they're not going to get killed. Like, just rush B, right? Rush B, and get a plant. Why do they have a guy there, you know? I guess they're kind of doing that now. Just don't even bother. He's going to come and shoot your head through a fucking wall, you know? It's not worth it. What I don't get, though, is how... Maybe he, uh, he's part of a five stack, right? Because 
there's no reason for this team to be letting this go on, right? I think that if the guys who's playing this had any integrity, they'd just be shooting him in the head every round till they get kicked or something. Just doing whatever they can to help, like maybe body block him, do whatever they can to help this other team out, right? Out. Makes no... It's just upsetting. I feel like either he's queued with these people, or they're just like, hey man, I'm winning. As long as I'm winning, right? it doesn't really matter to me. But it, it does matter. It should matter. People should have integrity in their game. Like, when I'm playing, that's the one thing that tilts me the most. Is it, this isn't... Like, it's, a, it's fun, right? But it's not a game to be played for fun. You can get fun out of it, but I don't think that is the point of this game. It's to better yourself, to find new depths within yourself that you can rise up from, right? And come back and work and earn your your victories, right? And there's none of that here. There really isn't. And it's it's just sort of upsetting to watch. So sorry for the pontification. Pontification. But you know, things like this just sort of upset me that this type of hacking. More so than the people that have like subtle walls and are trying to hide it, stuff like that. That's obviously still really annoying and really bad, but this is another level where it's just, you're just a bad person. Other hackers, I think there are sort of character flaws within them, maybe lack of self-confidence, a sort of um, desire to be well-liked at any cost, no matter what it does to others, right? And that I can kind of understand. I can understand those character flaws, and I've felt those myself. But this type of thing, where you're just going in just to fuck people over, is very upsetting to me. He's a hacker. Get fucking get rid of him, all right? Get the fuck out. I don't like it. I don't like it, boys. Anyway. That was an interesting one. Um, it was more of like a vlog, right? I was sort of just talking about my viewpoints on hacking as I've been making so many of these videos. It's kind of interesting to know what I actually feel about hacks and different types of hacks and who hacks, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a very interesting one. Uh, I will see you next time.